afternoon, I'm Russ Murphy. I'm Duncan Woodford. Thanks for joining us again for Weekend Magazine. Today we'll meet the crazy Frenchman. We'll see the commander of Starlight 13 visit the Golden Triangle, and we'll watch as a company in Needleland blends that motor oil we all use in our cars. But first, Duncan has a story about some people who just can't seem to keep their feet on the ground. That's right, Russ, a dedicated group of adventurers who keep reaching for the stars. They seem to take their life into their hands each trip, but return to Earth safely. We found them on Pleasure Island one Sunday not too long ago. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Hopper is a very small plane, sort of a cross between a go-kart and a glider. Ronald Gunter says it's fun to fly. I've been scuba diving, parachuting, uh, had motorcycles, boats, and this all of them rolled into one right here. It's a lot of fun. The weed hopper can be put together in about 45 minutes. The tail goes on first. Then comes the wings. The engine and propeller sit at the front. They stay attached. The weed hopper has two manual controls. On the pilot's right, the control for up, down, and right, left. On the pilot's left, the throttle. It's a simple plane, but Gunter says it's safe. I don't think it's that dangerous. I think it's a lot more safer than a motorcycle or anything. Because uh, no, it does about 55, lands about 23 miles an hour. It's kind of hard to get hurt. You can almost run 20 miles an hour. If you hit, hit a tree or something like that, it's real protected in that cage. I mean, it's, it's real safe. If the engine quits, the thing glides real easy. The pilot doesn't have to wear anything special, but a helmet and gloves help. He just straps into the seat and he's ready to fly. Where? in a go-kart, if you're on the ground or something like that, you say, oh, hey, there's a tree right there, I want to go over it. You just pull it up, you go over it, go back down. It's just a blast. It's hard to describe unless you get up in one. You ever been scared up there? Oh, yeah, I've been scared up there. I've been up there when a cold front blow in and the wind turned around 180 degrees and uh, dropped me about 200 feet. But, uh, 
It handles real good. I come on down, kiss the ground. <laughs> It seems like it would be a whole lot of fun if you could overcome your fear. If. <laughs> if frogs had wings, they wouldn't bump around so much either. <laughs> Next on Weekend Magazine, the man with the secret of Boudin.